there's no secret that Buena registration was difficult at best this year. Um, not a new problem. Um, something we've struggled with for quite a few years. I know I've had a child there and been there since 2012, maybe. And I know it's been a frustration for us. Um, as much as everyone hated that process, I just want to assure everyone that our staff disliked it as much or more than the people who were experiencing it because it starts everybody off on the wrong foot and um, we're just not gonna go there again. So this is going to take you through, um, I'm gonna start off with going over what we experienced and take you through our plans for next year. All right, so we had, long lines does not cover what we were experiencing. Um, significant waits for counseling, fees, ID cards, and pictures. The stations that really didn't have long lines were our lockers, parking passes, free reduced lunch forms, which I wanted to share that with you as well because it's incorporated in how we're doing what we're gonna do moving forward. Um, factors that played in, some of them we could control, some of them we couldn't. Um, significant increase in enrollment, less than two weeks before school, we ended up adding six, over six FTE um, days before school started in order to be able to cover the influx of students. Um, limited staff available to assist because it happens before they start. And then um, multiple students in a household. We have some days where it just happened where um, the number of students in the household, not parents of all five meetings, um, had multiple children, which increased the number of children on any given day, increasing wait times, etc. So for next year, um, all students, these are our returning students, they'll build their schedule with their counselor throughout the school year. They're already planning for that. I've met with information management and um, we have a plan. They're going to work through with a counselor uh, what their course requests are for the year at a later date, which we'll put out in our parent emails and put on the website. Uh, we'll have it open for parents to review the choices that the student made so that they have a, a chance to impact choices that they disagree with. Um, Obviously benefits, I put the little benefits down at the bottom so that we can make sure that we align them back to all of the points on the main page. But ultimately this will alleviate or re significantly reduce the need for the counseling meetings. Um, when the counselors come back with the eight days prior to school, because we load all those eight days at the beginning of the school year, um, they will be able to get through the emails because they will have worked with the people that um, needed changes throughout the year and then the changes that happen at the beginning of the year will be pretty minimal. So incoming ninth graders, this will probably be one of the biggest changes. Freshman orientation, woo! Basically, we had a really fun time and realized that we need to make this a more fun experience to start us off. So um, I've talked to some teachers and talked to the counseling staff and administrators and what we're going to do is we're gonna have welcome ambassadors. So our welcome ambassadors will be teachers that are interested in really making this a fun experience for our incoming freshmen and their families. We'll have a designated night or nights, depending on the number of students from any incoming school. Um, and essentially, we'll deck it out all Buena. The teachers have ideas to make capes and make it super fun. And um, they will sit with someone to build their schedule. And there'll be more that happens with that as we work through this. But um, essentially, we want that to be a really fun night where the parent and the student get to create the schedule so that we don't have the issues. And to give you a little bit of an idea, when we ran master schedule this year, um, our program told us we were at 97%, I believe. What we realized when we ran the schedules is that fully scheduled students were students that may have selected biology one semester and chemistry a second semester. Obviously, you can't do that. So um, it didn't account for student just not knowing what to do or student error accidentally clicking the wrong button could totally throw things off. So the way that we're going to counteract that is to make sure that it's done with a staff member so that we know that they're done accurately from the beginning and then the numbers that we're working off of are accurate. What's the approximate time frame for this piece? Um, in the past, we would send the forms to the schools and ask them to fill the forms out to tell us what they wanted to take the next year. That won't happen anymore. Um, we're still gonna talk to each of the schools. If they choose for us to go to their school, we can do that. If they choose to come to Buena, we can do that. Whatever that, that site wants to do, 
and we'll bring our welcome ambassadors to them or they will come to us in the gym, likely, and um, we'll do the whole deal. There's other elements that we're gonna incorporate as well. But really make it a fun experience and accurate so that we can have solid numbers to work off of. So sometime in the spring then? Yes, likely beginning of April is my guess. All right, fees. Um, currently, my school bucks is what people are using. They have to go in, they have to search and find the fees. <laughs> um, we are looking for other more user-friendly options for paying fees. Um, more information will be put out about that as that happens. Um, big, big changes. Fees are not going to be accepted until the 10-day drop date. Um, the issue is we end up doing a lot of refunds because the schedule changes or someone changes their mind. We literally had kids um, that were in line to see a counselor, parent was in line to pay fees, they changed their schedule, parent paid fees for a class that they weren't taking anymore. It's just a lot of un extra unnecessary um, work. So 10 day drop date is when they'll start accepting payments on fees. Um, fees can be paid online or through student services offices. So. Of course, just for fees or all fees? All fees. ID cards, this is a huge change for us. Um, talk to security, talk to um, administration, everybody that deals in the front offices. Um, students will be issued an ID card their freshman year and their junior year. And rather than having um, the school year on it, it will say class of and have their class and each class will have a different color printed card so they're easy to identify. Um, a, if a student is deemed to need a new ID card, should they change more um, in that year at any point? Um, where their ID card doesn't look like them any longer, they can go get a new ID card for free at any point. Um, they could just go to student services and get a new ID card. This is part of our plan to um, essentially cut back on the number of ID cards that we're running. Um, two, this whole plan is designed so that we don't have to have people come in before school starts at all. Um, incoming freshmen, so that night when, the welcome, when they're with their welcome ambassadors, we'll have ID card stations set up. I'll be ordering some more printing um, stations, and they'll see their welcome ambassador, set their schedule, and then get their ID card taken. We'll alphabetize and catalog, um, catalog them for when they come back and at freshman orientation. They will get those ID cards at freshman orientation as part of their welcome to Boyden. Yearbook pictures will be taken during the school year. So we are not gonna do the pictures before school starts anymore. Um, there will be possible opportunities for um, pictures to be done in the evenings at events. Uh, we're working with Rembrandt to try and figure out what that looks like, but big change there because those lines were pretty long this year. Lockers and parking passes. Um, incoming freshmen, when they make their schedules, that'll be available for them there. And then parking passes will be given out during the school year in the student services office, same as we did this year. It worked out very well, didn't have any issues with it, so we're gonna just go ahead and continue with that. Free reduced lunch forms, big change here. We're gonna be sending out free and reduced lunch forms through each student's homeroom class. Um, we have a lot of issues with people not wanting to stop at the tables because there's a lot of stigma attached as you're going through the stations and you don't wanna stop and um, fill out those forms right in front of everybody. So we will distribute those through homeroom class from now on um, and then We've worked to try and get some incentives for like the first classes that turn it in, things like that. Um, this will help us collect the forms with more consistency because we have a really difficult time collecting them and then take away that stigma. We are not going to have back to school registration any longer at Buena. Um, they will, just like every other age level of school, they will have everything set for them when they come and we will go about life normally and not start off on a negative with everyone involved.